नमस्कार गुड मॉर्निंग सो देर दिस इज अ बिग अपडेट रिगार्डिंग द कैनेडियन एजुकेशन वंस अगेन वी नो दैट अ वेरी बिग अपडेट केम अबाउट टू मंथ्स बैक रिगार्डिंग द इंक्रीज इन द जी आई सी प्राइसिस करेक्ट फ्रॉम टेन थाउजेंड डॉलर इट बिकेम ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड डॉलर विच वॉज डबल एंड द इफेक्ट ऑफ दैट आई हैव शेयर अ लॉट सो दिस इज अगेन अ वेरी बिग थिंग हैपन थ्री डेज बैक आई वॉज ट्रेवलिंग सो लेट अस स्टेप बाई स्टेप वट हैज हैपन ओके the biggest thing this is this is one the first thing is from 2024 the cap is expected to result in approximately 360000 approved study permit decrease of 35% from 2023 so what they are saying that they will reduce the number of study permits issued or basically they cap it okay individual provincial and territorial have have been established weighed by population which will result in much more so now every province will get a quota and see they are they have said looking at the population so definitely ontario will get the maximum quota but still see right now what was happening maybe the ontario population is 25% of canada but the study or the students that were going to ontario were 50% so not everybody will go to ontario now and you have to go beyond ontario and british columbia to you know other provinces also so quebec and other than these three where most of the people were going so now people have to go to alberta and people have to go to provinces other than these four so looking at depending on the population but still there would be equal spread so that is the biggest thing so icc will allocate a quota and then every college will get a quota okay to implement the cap as of january 2020 every study permit application submitted will require an attestation letter from province the province and territory is expected to establish a process for issuing not more than 31st march so now after 22nd january which is has happened three days back i need a attestation letter from the province now without that i cannot apply for the study permit because within in study permit now this compulsory option will come but on the other hand it, it will take time for them to uh, issue the notices okay which means it is probably that there would be no study permit applications for the next 2 months till 31st january because attestation letter but i'm sure that few provinces will act very fast 31st january is the deadline it's not the starting point and they are saying that these temporary measures will be there for 2 years and then no number of new will will be reassessed at the end of the year nothing great but now here comes the more interesting changes starting september 1 2024 which means september intake broadly international student this is a very big change that is part of a curriculum licensing arrangement will no longer be eligible for post study work permit upon graduation now let me tell this with few examples so lambton main campus is in sarnia in toronto lambton is a good college but in toronto they teach their courses in the building of a private college similarly georgian college berry teach their courses in a private college called ilac so this arrangement will not be acceptable anymore so students physically attend a private college that has been licensed to deliver the curriculum of an associate public college so what they have seen that uh, the quality of these things were not good and we all know that because the point is as a consultant we tell students but students wants to go to toronto only so when you are not getting admission in seneca or centennial or humber which are officially toronto what do you do you go to lambton toronto you go to georgian toronto just to be in toronto you go to niagara toronto do niagara is not in toronto the main campus so all those campuses will become redundant for at least especially for work permit and this practice has to be stopped from september intake which means even you have you have still have time for may 24 intake to go to one of these colleges now this is another issue a good now this is a good point sometime na there would be there were great masters programs but 
let's say Trent University, Thomson River University, but their master's program was of 16 months, 18 months, 12 months. So students used to leave these great programs and college universities because you need you needed 24 months or two year of education so that you are eligible for a three year work permit. So finally they are changing this and any graduate of a master degree program will be eligible for a three year work permit though your course duration was only 15 months. So it is not that earlier or even today it is for 15 month course you will get a 15 month work permit but now if it is a proper master's course you will get full three years. So that is really good thing that is going to happen which will again you know encourage more students to join a good master's program not looking at the duration of the program. Uh, and this is the third and the biggest thing which will hamper the Punjab market a lot. Open work permits will only be eligible for master's and doctor's program which means if somebody is going for undergrad or graduate diploma programs you cannot take their spouse on spouse open work permit program. So the entire contract marriage market of Punjab is going to finish and many people who used to get married only so that they get an open work permit will no longer be there. So these are the major three changes. One is and we all know the GIC change has already happened two months back that you need now double the amount. So four big changes increased money in GIC. Uh, provincial cap is going to come for that you need a attestation letter from that province third thing good thing that any master's program will give us three of a permit and the bad thing is that if you are going for after class 12 courses to take a spouse the spouse there is no benefit because the spouse cannot go on the open work permit like visa okay so these are the major changes and uh, hope you like the video share subscribe it and if you want us to help you in your study abroad journey you know the number 96433-62320 the number is also there in description and there is also a video which explains why we charge money for our study abroad counseling also though many people do it for free but we take fee money and that logic is also there in the video in the description and uh, to talk to us 2500 rupees is the minimum amount on phone counseling and 5000 rupees for the face to face counseling. Have a nice day. Bye bye. The number again is 96433 62320.